so hot. We are now going towards the beach, so I think the weather is gonna cool off a bit. While in the car, I was thinking maybe I could try a little pocket coffee. <laughs> I went to the store and I actually already saw a video about pocket coffee and I thought it was the cutest thing ever. Ooh, okay, so it comes with a little tiny little, what is this called? Straw. <laughs> this is so cute. Let me try. Very condensed chocolatey sweet espresso. We took the wrong exit and then we realized there was a McDonald's. We were like, you know what? Why don't we just get a quick McDonald's? Because we haven't eaten anything yet. But I saw that they have something that I haven't seen anywhere else, which is a oh my gosh. Okay, looks like this and oh, there's three. I thought it was just one. It's a panzerotti, which I think is a, um, a street food or like a snack that they eat a lot in Puria. Let me try this. It's actually really hot still. So, mmm. Mmm. The outside is like so mm, flaky and like, I wouldn't say crispy, but it's flaky and like buttery almost and the inside super soft i guess it's like a hot pocket i mean how can this be bad because it's literally tomato sauce and cheese <laughs> with carbs <laughs> my boyfriend also got a mcwrap with chicken and pesto rosso and there's a bunch of sauce and i also see some bacon and we got this sauce called salsa picante and let me take the biggest bite so i get a little bit of everything to like show you what it looks like but the car is so bumpy it's just going everywhere anyway this is a good little snack so that we can um stay alive till dinner but still enjoy dinner we just checked into our farmhouse and it is so cute the walls apparently are really old, like they're the original walls from the 1600s, but look at the bathroom. So cute. The shower. The whole property is so pretty. They apparently have 40 he hectares? Babe, how do you say that? Oh, they got 40 acres of very old olive trees, which is really nice too, and they make their own wine. And I think we have to try some of the wine, of course. <laughs> We have come to eat dinner at this place called Il Cortiletto. We ordered a bunch of food, which is most likely going to be too much, but that's okay. Mm. We just got our bean puree, and it sounds so random, but it's really good. And the puree is super soft and like savory, and with the peppers on top. Mmm. God, that's so good we got a plate of cold cuts and that's not usually something that I want to get but this is so good it's like super thin and so like nutty We got a burnt wheat linguine with mushroom sauce and truffle and veal carpaccio. It's really good. And the mushrooms are so flavorful. Mm. This is like one of those pastas I've never had before. And I like that. Mm. Mm. I like how it's pretty light too. It's not too heavy. Got it. Our ribeye came out. It's so big. It's taking up the entire table. I have nowhere to put my camera. But they cook it on the charcoal grill. Hi. Mm. 
so good. There's no way we can finish all of this. It's so much. We're gonna have to take it back to the hotel and then have a midnight snack or something. <laughs> We are on our way to our hotel in Polina Nova Mare and um, I feel like a lot of people they know about the Amalfi Coast and sometimes you also know you've heard of Cinque Terre which is like a cheaper Amalfi Coast they say but I think it's still pretty expensive but Polina Nova Mare is in the south of Italy and it's a different vibe but it's like by the beach and it's supposed to be really nice so I'm really excited about that. We checked into our hotel and we're walking around now and it's just so pretty. Everything is super like old and white and oh my god, a cat! <laughs> Hello! Anyway, we already saw some of the cliffs and I think we're just gonna walk around and explore. We got some gelato from this place called Fior di Latte and it is so good. I've been really into melon ice cream or like melon flavor only in italy though usually i don't really like it that much but it tastes like actual melon is so good mm. get dinner in an hour and a half but we couldn't help ourselves as per usual and got some pizza it's with a yellow tomato sauce right mm. Mm. the tomato sauce is really sweet and the dough is really good too we're gonna try and eat as little as possible <laughs> We just got like a welcome dish, which is, I think it's like a gazpacho. Mm. Wow, the tomato is so sweet. And it's really refreshing. Ooh. I got the raw appetizer like platter with shrimp and these are my favorite. Mm. It's so good and it's so sweet. Mm. Good morning. It is actually not even morning anymore. Um, it's almost 12.30, but we've just been really lazy this morning, which is nice. Now we're gonna go eat lunch. Um, it's our last day in Italy, so I have to eat all the pasta that I can while we're still here. And after that, we're gonna go to the beach. And at four, we have a boat tour. And then I think we're gonna see the caves and we can also jump in the water, so that's gonna be really fun. We got our pasta with mussels and provolone cheese, but ooh, <gasps> ooh, it looks so good. Mm. Oh, that's so good. It's super cheesy, and there's mussels, and it's kind of salty and garlicky. That is exactly what I wanted. We also got tuna tartar that comes with stracciatella, the cheese, and pistachio. Mm. Oh, very fresh. Mm. The boat tour was so much fun. I wanted to film more, but I was so scared of getting my camera wet because there was water splashing everywhere. Um, after the boat tour, we came home. By the way, I highly recommend that boat tour. Um, just look up any boat tour on Airbnb experiences or anywhere else and you should be able to find something. 
appetizer we got an octopus with fava bean puree, which is a very Puyan thing. Mm. I was actually kind of craving pesto, and this is a zucchini pesto. Mm. Oh, hot. Mm. Wait, that's actually so good. It's with shrimp too. There's like really small shrimp in there. It's like actually tastes a lot like shrimp and crispy almonds on top. Mm. Ooh. Oh my god. Ah! saltier in my opinion but I still really like it mm. time for dessert even though I'm so full mm. it's really creamy almost tastes like cheesecake on top mm. Mm. 